Fremantle held their intra-club match in front of a modest crowd of loyal Freer supporters at Patterson Stadium. For the fans that braved the 32 degree heat, they were treated to a physical match between the purple and white. It was the first chance to see our new recruits Scott Gumbleton and Colin Sylvia in action, with both showing glimpses of what they can produce in 2014. Players not participating in the match watched from the sidelines and Crowley and Mzungu looked like they were still riding the wave from last Friday night's final at the Scorchers. Michael Johnson was at his all-Australian best running off a half-back. Nat Fife also impressed. There was a scare early on as Matthew Pavlich received a knock to the head by Luke McFarlane. However, that didn't seem to slow him down as he finished with two goals for the Purple team. The heat was a concern for some players adopting some unusual techniques to keep cool. With the majority of senior players playing for the purple team, Michael Byler was left to instruct his younger teammates and the six Peel players who helped fill up numbers. Michael Walters was the standout with some fancy footwork. <coughs> Walters teamed up well with Hayden Ballantyne who had the crowd in applause after this passage of play. <laughs> Assistant coach Mark Stone was impressed by some of the work from their youngsters. I really thought some of the young guys really showed a little bit. Max Stuffy was, was quite good and Tommy Sheridan and Hayden Crozier, these guys that have put together you know, some good summers and, and for, for Hayden and, and Tommy that's their third summer now so you can see them really starting to benefit from having a strong pre-season. But overall was happy with the group's performance. Oh look it was a good hit out for us. It's, uh, time of the year where the players are itching to, to get some competitive sort of game type training into their program and I just thought it was a really good hit out for all, all the players concerned and we got through unscathed so it was a real positive for us. Although no serious injuries, Daniel Pearce did cop a knock during the game. I think I copped a stray boot at the back somewhere so I think it was um, Cross clipped me, gave away the free kicks, just let him know that I knew he clipped me, it's a bit, bit, of, a, bit of a laugh. Piss has been in Perth for over a year now, but it seems he might have to get a teammate to give him a lift up to Joondalup when Frio take on West Coast in the NAB Challenge next Tuesday. Yeah, absolutely new to Perth. I know, I know it's north, that's about as far as I know. Um, but I think we trained there last year and it was, from what I can recall, it was the windiest place I've ever kicked the footy at. So, uh, no, look, as I said, looking forward to getting out and starting NAB and getting the real stuff underway and start playing against some uh, real tough opposition. The first hit out from the boys was a success which impressed the fans and also got a thumbs up from the captain.